Weighted chin-ups are fantastic, but the idea that getting strong at them ensures massive biceps is completely false. It's not a universal truth. And this black and white minimalist thinking needs to die because it's misinformation and it's hurting your gains. I'm tired of hearing this bullshit. I'm tired of people saying that curls are worthless, that you shouldn't do isolation exercises, when in reality, this is the truth. See, there's a big difference between effective and optimal training or what works or what is the best. What is the best? Isolating your fucking arms with curls. Not relying on indirect stimulus through doing rows and chin-ups and lat pull-downs. Yes, you can get decent or even great development with that approach. But will you maximize the gains? Not in a million years. And we have countless of examples online of people who have strong chin-ups, but weak and small biceps. Because we don't actually know how much the back is contributing to the exercise. That's the problem. Sure, it's being engaged. We cannot deny that fact. But for those who are torso dominant, which I believe is a very real thing, the back does a lot of the work. And this explains why there are many people who have strong chin-ups, but they don't have the best trick curl. So why are we basing our bicep strength off an exercise that uses a lot of back? It's not logical, guys. If you really want to assess, the most practical way of doing so is going against the wall, doing the strict curl competition. That's how you assess 100% bicep strength, for the most part. It's more accurate than fucking chin-ups, okay? And I can tell you from my experience, I've been doing pull-up specialization for well over a year now. And for many months now, it's been exclusively chin-ups, okay? Weighted and everything. And my performance has skyrocketed. This is the strongest my chin-ups have ever been. Guess what? Zero improvements in bicep size. And it had barely any carryover to my curls. 160 pounds, one rep max. 160. My question is, how much fucking stronger does one need to get? Are you really going to suggest, oh, just get it up to 180, get up to 200, get up to 225. How feasible is that? Especially when you consider the fact this is very advanced. 99% of you aren't going to hit those numbers. That's just a fact. Because it's hard to do. But what is feasible is training like a bodybuilder. High volume curls, inducing progressive overload. Doing hammer curls, barbell curls, maybe a cable curl, you know? Not necessarily fluff and pump, not necessarily bro arms, but isolating. That is the proper way. Fuck. And I'll say this, if you can strict curl anywhere between 135 and 185, your biceps can be much bigger than the guy who just does chin-ups all the time. I strongly believe in that. The truth is that there are people out there with very good genetics that can get away with suboptimal training. But for guys like you and me, it's problematic. And that's all we're seeing here. We're seeing what distinguishes between the freaks and the normal dudes. And that's why I believe in maximized programming, okay? You incorporate different rep ranges, volume and intensity work, and you do your chin-ups, of course. You get stronger that. That will contribute to your biceps. But you also do the curls. You do the hammer curls. You do the supinated versions. You don't just rely on one exercise. You don't just put all your eggs in one basket because that doesn't guarantee results. And it's not the preferred method of bodybuilders for a very good reason, okay? It's like saying just become a gymnast and you're going to have huge biceps. Will that help? Yeah, probably. Probably, man. It's a great way. It might actually be the secret for many naturals. But is that really feasible? Seriously, man. We have to think about feasibility. And in my experience, man, like, chin-ups ain't cutting it. They're just not. Did 160, 400 max. I did 95 for 13 reps. Full range of motion. Come on. What more do you need to know? So look, I'm not trying to knock the exercise any type of way. I'm going to keep doing them for a very long time. It's one of my favorite exercises. And I actually prefer more than pull-ups these days. I love it. And yeah, it's going to contribute to my bicep gains. I know it is. But I'm going to have to get way, way, way stronger at it just to get a tiny bit of gains. Whereas I feel the strict curl root, or just getting stronger at isolation work, makes much more sense. And just doing high volume stuff like that. And that's all there is to it, man. I'm not trying to make this video about me. Although I, I do relate to myself, you know, so you can understand where I'm coming from. But I just want this minimalist thinking to die out. It's harming your gains, man. Plain and simple. Stop listening to these guys who say all you got to do is chin-ups. That's not true. Get strong fucking curls, man. That's all I got to say. Hope you learned something from this video. Give me a feedback down below. Are you a genetic freak or just as rose and your fucking biases blow up? Let me know. And I'll talk to you all next time.